Greetings from Coney Island Creek Park at West 37th Street and Bayview Avenue. Here is a July look. Now, for just a position, if we were to continue heading all the way down this block to the right, we'd be enter the private community of Seagate, or go all the way to the end, we would be at the Atlantic Ocean. But this is the less traveled route. This is West 37th and Bayview Avenue. And I'm gonna give you a quick walk down because Polar Street and Bayview are two blocks that are not within the Seagate gated community. So you really can't show um, Brooklyn living from a Seagate perspective within the gate, but the last two blocks of this area are not gated and they're open to the public. And we see we have some nautical displays in the window, very close to the Coney Island Lighthouse. Yes, Brooklyn does indeed have its very own lighthouse and very popular for the July fireworks show, as well as Friday night fireworks of Coney Island, as well as New Year's Eve fireworks. Now here is some plant uh, that's a very interesting one. My mother liked to grow this plant also on Long Island. It is called the castor bean and it grows this beautiful large foliage, uh, but the roots below, uh, they are poisonous to rodents. And this is also a very poisonous compound uh, when ground up, but it makes for a beautiful foliage plant and all of that grows in just one year from a seed. And when those pods are broken open, there will be seeds inside, which you can save and plant for the next year. Now let's walk in. There's three entrance points, but this one has some beautiful artwork as well as the official New York City Parks icon and the Coney Island Creek Park logo, which is open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Welcome, be courteous and respectful to others. All right, let's take a walk in with some art in the park. Now the closest way to get here would be by taking the subway. And that would be the D, which is easy to, re easy to remember for the Diker Heights Christmas lights, the F train for fun at Coney Island, or Q for a quality time in Brooklyn. You'll never forget it now, how to get here. And then you just walk over down. It gets even easier, Mermaid Avenue <laughs> until the last stop. And then you will be at Coney Island Creek Park. Now that's only a $2.75 ride from the Empire State Building, which is 13 miles from where we are. And we're soon to be seeing Gravesend Bay and the beautiful view of the Verrazano Bridge connecting Brooklyn to Staten Island. Ah, summer in the city. Now this is a really quiet beach. If you want to enjoy some of the loudness and the vibrancy of Coney Island for part of your day, but maybe have a quiet afternoon, you could start here, especially on a Friday, and then head over to the Coney Island beach for 945 fireworks. As you can see, this is your quiet spot. Now it is July. Probably if you came here during the other months, it'd be even quieter. And I say quiet in comparison to the hustle and bustle of summer and carnival-like activity that takes place at Coney Island, which I do love. Started my day there. We'll be returning back there. Uh, but a friend of mine from Marine Park pointed out that I might enjoy a walkway along the side of uh, the Belt Parkway and Shore Park and even recommend that I look at this amusement park right in front of us. You could see the tip of a Ferris wheel. I, called, I think it was called Adventurers Park. And who knew that there was yet another amusement park? As there is more than one amusement park along the uh, boardwalk, Luna Park 
and Dino's Wonder Wheel amusement park are completely separate amusement parks. And there is the short, there, actually there is New York City skyline. Gotta love that one, 13 miles from home. Shore Parkway and the Belt Parkway, which runs alongside of Diker Heights, where they have the beautiful Diker Heights Christmas lights. But there is a great view of the Coney Island Lighthouse. Once you pass the Welcome to Brooklyn sign by the Verrazano Bridge, which is the R train to Bay Ridge. Now, you cannot walk over the Verrazano Bridge, but there is a great view of Staten Island. And that is a quick arrival. The lesser seen sites of Brooklyn. And you may be wondering, how is the water quality here? Well, everywhere I've been, I've seen people fishing in abundance and coming up with fish as well as this area and the Shore Park Parkway. The beauty of I love New York. Now Seagate does have its own private beach. So between this waterway and approaching Coney Island after you've left the Gravesend Bay area, uh, there is a private beach for Seagate. And then you will return to the Atlantic Ocean. And that's some of the, like I said, lesser known views of Brooklyn. I love New York. Till next time, happy summer from Coney Island Creek Park.